Now, what we did in the previous two videos was basically take a look at the space we had to work with. We defined some of the terms we're going to encounter when we're doing farming. And we had a chance to sit down with Marv and Vanessa and uh, talk to them a little, little bit and, and figure, it, figure out what it is that they, uh, they're trying to do, the project that they're involved in, and uh, you know, basically what they envision, right? Now, what we're gonna do in this video is take a look at how they're going to go about that right how they're going to grow their project and uh, basically every year they're going back and tweaking their project a little bit and growing right and for us to be able to figure out what it is that Marvin and Vanessa already are basically involved in what we have to do is take a look at their to-do list which is basically taking a look at their spreadsheet and the way we're going to go about this is we're going to go back to the conversation we had with Marv and Vanessa and take a little section out of it where uh, Vanessa is basically explaining to us uh, one of the calculations they have to do when they're growing broccoli. Just, you know, take a look at one of the cells, one of the units uh, that they have to understand or that they encounter when they're farming. Right. And for us to be able to understand farming, we have to understand the units in that system right and once we're done that once we're done with the micro with the small scale right with the with the details of it what we're going to do is go out with marv and get marv to show us the big picture explain to explain to us what the big picture is from the time that they you know think about the menu all the way down to the time where they're harvesting their crop okay and that's going to be the big picture and hopefully that will give us a pretty good idea of what Marvin Vanessa's to-do list is, right? What Marvin Vanessa's spreadsheet is is like and some of the calculations, um, you know, just, just a pretty basic idea of some of the calculations that they have to do. And what we'll do throughout the next few months or the next few years, depending how long this project takes, is we'll come back to the spreadsheet and take a look at more of the cells, more of the intricate little details. And once we've done that, with the big picture, um, it should give us a really good idea of uh, what's involved with farming and some of the things we have to take care of and some of the calculations we have to do and some of the units we have to understand um, to be able to understand what farming is, what this system is, right? Okay, so um, right now we'll go and uh, have a little chat with uh, Vanessa and as soon as we're done, we're going to come back here and do a little uh, calculation and then go out with Marv and Take a look at the big picture, okay? The well, less so this is the first year you're working with this intensive a spreadsheet. Last year we had the same ones. Yeah, now the same. they're all linked. They're all linked together. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not quite done yet, but they're linked all the way to the field worksheets, which is where I'm at now. But then, okay, so from the field worksheets, that's your harvest date. But also you have like, um, in here you have the yield, so per feet, you can expect to have 0 0.67 heads. Uh, those numbers you find in like seed catalogs and stuff, they give you like an estimate. Oh, really? What? So it's a ratio. It's a ratio, per, like. So head per feet. Head per feet. So. Uh, so it's a bed of a certain length of feet, you'd have, you could expect to have this many heads of. Oh, so when the number says 0. 0.67, you can. Heads per. So you can have 0. 0.67 heads per feet. So if you have six, whatever. Uh, multiply it by 10. So you have 10 feet, you can plant 6.7 heads of lettuce. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So the yield you can expect for broccoli is 0.67 heads per feet. And that's the units for broccoli, right? Heads per feet. Uh, the units changes depending on what you're growing, right? It could be ounces per feet. It could be bunches per feet. It could be fruit per feet. Whatever the units are uh, when you're doing farming or when you're doing anything else, right? The units change. So for broccoli, we can expect 0.67 heads per feet. Right. Now, one of the other columns um, in their spreadsheet uh, stated that they had two rows of broccoli per bed. And that's the other spec for broccoli. They can fit in two rows per their bed, which is five feet wide. Right. And their their rows are 60 feet long. So if for one bed, if they're growing one bed of broccoli, they have basically two rows, each row being 60 feet. And basically it becomes two times 60. So in one bed, if they're growing only broccoli, which they fit two rows of, they're growing 120 feet 
of broccoli. And for us to figure out how many heads of broccoli they can get out of 120 feet, all we have to do is go 120 times 0.67. And that's gonna give us around 80 heads of broccoli. Okay, and the units, if you're thinking about the units, you have heads over feet multiplied by feet. The feet kill each other, and that's something we talked about when you're multiplying fractions, right? Super important to know. So as soon as you kill the feet, the only unit you're left with is the heads, which is basically 80 heads of broccoli for one bed of you know, one bet if they're dedicating it all to broccoli. And that's the type of calculation you end up doing. And that's, that's how you can figure out how much you're growing, what your yield is going to be, what your expected yield is going to be. Uh, because things change depending on the weather, depending on bugs, depending on whatever you're encountering, right? And that's just one simple calculation. And the formulas that are embedded within the spreadsheet, right? Because they're growing a lot of things. And you, you don't, you know, you don't sit down and, do calculations for all of the things manually because this kicks into something else this you know that kicks into something else right so one of the things uh, to know one of the things to uh, keep a note of if you're ever given the opportunity to learn how to use a spreadsheet learn it because if there's any large projects that you're ever going to get involved with uh, your to-do list if if you're creating a to-do list you better be creating a to-do list if you're doing large projects once it becomes uh, uh, more intricate and requires a fair bit of time to get done you're gonna have to create a spreadsheet and link everything and that's exactly what Marv and Vanessa have done and this is just one simple calculation that that takes place automatically through formulas in their spreadsheet okay so what we're gonna do right now now that we know uh, at least what one of the cells in the spreadsheet is and throughout throughout the next few months and years possibly we'll come back and uh, take a look at more of the cells more of the calculations more of the units that we have to understand to understand farming to understand the system of farming okay and uh, what we're gonna do right now is basically go talk to Marv and get us to get him to zoom us out and take a look at the spreadsheet on in one big shot uh, that way we get a really good picture of what all the different tables are and how they're going about from the beginning of the season all the way to the end of the season and what's involved you know some of the some of the some of the things they have to take care of to be able to get their project done